Hello everybody and Happy New Year and oh my gosh, it's White Sword. So, forgive me because I am sick, but I did want to make this video as like a New Year's. So people who want to make videos, this is the video, video thing that you want to watch, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about making videos for Windows Movie Maker uh, and the tips and stuff that I used to use, I guess, just information I used when I made my videos with Movie Maker and how simple it is. You know, I get messages all the time. How do I make videos like you? How do I make videos with me? And a lot of it's just like, oh, well, just Google it because that's what I had to do. But you know what? Let's just, you know, I've been meaning to make this for a long time, so let's just do it. Let's talk about what you need. You're going to need Windows Movie Maker 2.6, which you can download here. Uh, I will put a link into the comment bar below so you can just click these. Uh, but the version we're going to be using is Windows Maver, Movie Maker 2.6 Enhanced Package 2010. Uh, which basically is uh, a really big upgrade to Movie Maker. It, it adds more visual effects, it adds transitions, it actually adds uh, 20 uh, or 780p or 720p and 1080p but as before I actually had to go out and type out bullshit just to get that to to work uh, so you know that's never fun so as I blow my nose <coughs> anyway so let's talk about the simplicity of Windows Movie Maker it is so simple to use there's there's nothing that's not it's it's really designed to be Simple, easy, right to the point, no bullshitting around. This is what I want to make, and this is what you're going to get. Uh, this is what I used for many years on all from White Sword TV to Fat Man on Bike to tons and tons of my wow videos were all done in Windows Movie Maker. Uh, and it wasn't until later on that I actually started looking up more stuff and starting to uh, make my quality better. To because it it, one of the big things about making videos nowadays is quality. You want to make sure you have great quality and also have good audio. And with the audio, you want to make sure you have the confidence that uh, uh, to speak loudly, to know what you're talking about, and to make the person who's watching your video feel like you know what you're talking about. There are tons of videos I watch on YouTube where the audio is just like shitty. They got background noise. The music's too loud, and I've been uh, done that multiple times, and it's one of those things that you really have to watch out for, is making sure if you're going to talk over a video and do a Let's Play, or just talk over a video in general, that you speak loudly and clearly so that people can understand what you're saying. And sometimes, for me, that's more important than the actual quality because a lot of times if I'm if if it's like a game like Skyrim, I already know it goes on Skyrim. What do I need to watch? So, but I enjoy their commentary of the actual what's going on. So I'll watch like OMG Cat, uh, Jesse Cox play Skyrim, or just I'll just drop it down and get into a game of something else and just l laugh at the at just his audio stuff. I don't need to see the actual screen to enjoy his videos. Um, but if you are going to make videos that are, you know, on the video part, you need to make sure that they are at the top quality. Don't half-ass it. Don't be like, well, you know what? Always top quality. People want to watch top quality. I go back, I look at my videos, and they just gross me out on how ignorant I was about quality options at the time. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just, it's just gross. I go back and I see the pixels, and it's, it's so frustrating to see. So I want to make sure if people are going to start doing videos, I mean, people are getting these capture cards. I mean, videos have become making videos for YouTube has just become such a popular thing now that everybody's doing it. Um, I get friends of mine tell me, "Oh, well, you do it, so I can do it too," and I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. But, you know, whatever. I, I'll take it as a compliment. Uh, so I want to make sure that I give you guys some good information on making videos. So let's start out with Movie Maker. Simple, it's free. You can't go wrong with free. Um, and, you know, it's simple. So let's go ahead and import the video. Uh, oh, that's what I'm recording right now. <coughs> so this will take a second. Okay, so... Our video is imported, so I just went ahead and muted why I coughed my brains out. So, simple, I'm going to just drag it down to the timeline, and here we go. 
Now, if you're gonna want to talk over there, that's too loud. There's a couple things you can right click on the audio section and then you can do the volumes which okay well that's a little loud so let's bring it down some and then we'll start that over it's still too loud but you want to make sure you get the enjoyment of the audio of the game so you just want to kind of mess around with that until you get uh, uh, a decent sound quality for what you're trying to do and what you're trying to talk over uh, in the beginning of this game, it is a little loud, so you know, as you you can just skip ahead, and it actually gets a little more quieter. Um, pause. So that's one important thing: making sure that the person you're talking, your the video you're talking about, can be heard, and the game, it's 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 got to be a perfect blend. It just it's just got to be right, and it's it's something you just got to mess around with and play with on your own until you just get it right. Um, now with the video effects. Uh, one of my main things was uh, I like to do was you know speed up my videos just a little bit so I could you know do a, show you a faster run and that that was more of my um, type of style and that was one thing why I kept with uh, Windows Movie Maker was just trying to get the um, this stupid speed up option was just such an annoyance you know you know just drag that put another one on there. Turn a 20 minute video into about 10 minutes if it's done just right. Now you got your audio a little off, so you're probably just going to go ahead and mute your audio. So just boom, your audio is all the way muted. Um, unless you want that uh, bingly sped up sound of the actual track. So that's basically it. That's, that's some basic stuff. Um, you know, you could throw your transitions, which are great. Now, Movie Maker, this is great, too, because if we go back up to... Whoop, we don't want to import a video. Uh, let's go back to... So we want to... Oh, Jesus. How do I get out of this? <laughs> um, over here. So you just click that to go back. Go back. Go back. Come on. Take me back up to the top. Okay, so I hit the wrong button. So to go back, you want to go to your collection, and you just grab this right here, put that right there, then you can go back here. So if you have uploaded multiple, uh, I've uploaded this a couple times, trying to do different styles of videos for this. You know, you got your three right here, and you can pop in between. And sometimes if you're open uploading videos that ha were recorded on different dates, it's going to put see how it has the different dates here. Uh, it'll upload them to the date, and then that folder will have all the videos that recorded in that date, so you can just grab stuff from that date. So if you don't want uh, it to just go from kind of a weird little video transition if you want, I don't know, whatever you want, you just take that, drag it right there, and then you're good to go. Or, you know, you can do it through the show, the storyboard, which is a little, little easier so you can actually see where it's going through. I don't know. I, I liked how simple it was uh, back when I used to use this. So that's uh, transitioning. Uh, let's see. Now you can throw your titles on. Um, I never personally liked having uh, the title, like how it's blue here. I just, when I go back and I look at those videos, it just was so, it just screams Windows Movie Maker, which is fine because that's what we're using, but it's just like, oh, we want to get make sure it looks professional and make sure what we're doing doesn't reflect on the fact we're using it for free. Some people are weird like that. I don't know. I could care less. But it just, for something, it just, I see that I'm like, ah, oh, movie maker. So it's actually better to do it on a selected clip. I love you. And then you just, boom, you throw that in there. You can choose the title animation uh, if you want it to fade in or whatever. Uh, there's some little here, uh, some letterboxing stuff. And with this version too, you get some, uh, uh, TV ratings, and I think there's actually some logos too for um, uh, different companies. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, I thought I saw, yeah, ABC. Uh, I would not use these. <laughs> you you might get your video pulled. Uh, that's another thing. Um, so we'll talk about that in a second. So okay, so you have all that stuff right. You know that might actually be for another video. Um, so you have your simple to the point video 
that's out there. But now, you know, it's not bad looking. It looks good. Now it's time to save it. Now, this is the most important thing ever is, like I said, quality. Save it at 720p, 30 or 40, whatever, 24, whatever you want, or 1080p. 1080p takes a little longer, and 720p is just perfectly fine. Um, unless somebody's playing, I have a 32-inch monitor, TV monitor that I play on. 720p is perfect. It's, there's no problems with it. Um, so that's what I save on. It's simple. It's easy. You have a lot of other options here if you're doing it for pocket PCs or, you know, wh whatever. Uh, you know, but 720p is perfect. Anything higher is, is perfect too. Uh, I have not messed around with these two, the YouTube standard and the U Those don't sound. I would just stick with 720p. That is your most, your, it's good. It's good, it's good. Just stay with that. So... Anyways, so that's how to make a video. It's simple. It's easy. It's like, we already know this. Why are you explain to me? Because a lot of people don't know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I think I might do another video on YouTube on, like, the uploading process. Not the uploading process because you just click a button and it uploads. But on the processing of, you know, making sure your shit ain't copyrighted stuff. You know, just some basic YouTube information. Uh, so I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that. Make sure to like this video. Everybody have a nice day. Akamagosh, and I hope you enjoy the 2012 new year. Oh, I wanted to add something else, too. Uh, Movie Maker has these really good forms. And they're the Movie Maker forms. Uh, when I first started out, uh, I lived on these forms. I read all the forms. The forms uh, have some great information in them from people that were like looking on how to do things, tips and tricks and uh, uh, add-ons and updates you know people on these forums were really really supportive on uh, giving me information I was looking for and I got a lot of good information from just reading these forums they are the best for Windows Movie Maker um, you can't go wrong and now if you also want to do audio and then record on top of it through another source uh, Audacity I can't even say that right is an open source free program that uh, is great. I mean, it's all the options are great. Uh, you can't go wrong with Audacity. It's 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 awesome. It's good stuff. You're gonna have great control over what you're doing, uh, and it's simple. You know, record, save, import uh, to Windows Movie Maker, and I'll make sure to have links to all these down in the comments below. And uh, everybody have a nice day.